Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to jumpstart your whiteboard video creation by using ChatGPT. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. As easy as it is to drag and drop characters and props into Doodly, you generally need to start with an idea and then develop that idea into a script. But the problem is coming up with ideas can be hard sometimes. Maybe you've covered so much about your business that you just can't think of anything new or fresh. Maybe you have so many ideas, it's hard to focus on one. Or maybe writing's just hard for you. Well, ChatGPT and its cousins can help. Despite all the fear-mongering and uncertainty surrounding artificial intelligence, ChatGPT really is a useful tool. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through some of the ways that you can use it to create your script for an animated whiteboard explainer video that you're gonna create in Doodly. But first, it's really important for you to know its limitations. AI is notorious for making up stuff, or hallucinating as they call it. For example, it might tell you that in 1898 something something happened and it's going to sound so credible, it, you're going to believe it because it's so confident sounding and it's just going to be completely made up stuff. So just fact check everything, okay? What topic should we start with? Well, let's pretend that I'm an insurance agent today and I want to make a doodly video to educate my potential customers about auto insurance. I have a ton of knowledge, but I don't know where to start. So I'm just staring at a blank whiteboard like this, going, what am I going to do? What should I start with? I sell auto insurance. I'm not a writer. I don't know what, where to go. Well, here's where to go. You're going to go to chat GPT. So let's do it. Chat.openai.com. I do have the plus accounts, 20 bucks a month, and that gets you the latest and greatest. So I'm going to use this one because I like it the best. So now here I am, and it's just like texting with a friend. Okay. So let's just tell chat GPT who it is. So see what I, I've done here. I've told it you're an insurance agent, this is what you sell, and this is who you sell it to. And now I want a list of ideas for explainer videos. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I have 15 wonderful ideas here. I didn't have to do any thinking. It took maybe, what, 20 seconds or so to get them. And I'm just going to pick one. So let's see what sounds interesting to me. I'm going to do why credit score matters. Okay. So let's do that. So I've asked it to do an outline for topic number 10. And what's neat is it looks back. So it knows what conversations we've had. Okay. So I didn't have to tell it, I just said number 10. Okay, and this is gonna be maybe a little bit longer than I wanted to, so let's see. So I don't want point six and seven. So I'm gonna give instructions to ChatGPT. Okay, so I told it I wanna be, have it really concise, so we're not gonna cover point six and seven. And I want it to write the script end with a call to action to get this free quote. Okay, this looks really good. I like it gave me slide ideas as well. And I like that it's short and sweet. It has my call to action. Everything's pretty good. But I'm not personally sure about this if this is true or not. So I'm going to do some fact checking. One thing you can do ironically is open a new chat. Go to chat GPT for if you have the plus account, of course, and you can browse with Bing so you can use it to fact check. So let's see. Now, obviously, if I was an insurance agent, I would know this, but let's say you're working for one. Okay. So now chat GPT is browsing the web and it's going to find the answer for me. It's confirmed it and it's given me a link right here. I can just approve. So it's taken me to this actual site by Experian.com. 
that it tells me insurance companies do not use it. Okay, that's all I need to know. I feel comfortable in that. So now that I'm comfortable with that, I'm pretty much done. All I have to do is build the video and we have dozens and dozens of tutorials showing you exactly how to do that. I'm going to give you one last hint. Okay, because you're going to do a voiceover, right? Well, it's kind of hard when you're doing a voiceover to skip over all this stuff. So let's make it easy on our voiceover artist and let's just ask ChatGPT to give it to us. And that's perfect. So now I have my voiceover and I can send it to whoever is going to do that voiceover for me. Or I could go into Takia if you have Takia software and I can just copy and paste that and I'll have a voiceover in 10 seconds. If you haven't played with this technology yet, give it a try. Instead of staring at a blank screen, before you know it, you're going to have all kinds of ideas to work with. Thanks for watching.